I would like to share with you. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I can remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned, and though I have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Charity suffereth long and is kind, charity envieth not, charity vaunteth not itself, is not puffed up, doth not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, um, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth, beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Charity never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail, whether there be tongues, they shall cease, whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But then that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. When I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, I put away childish things. For now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know, even as also I am known. And now abideth faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is charity. And now I would like to share you a thought. Charity is greater than faith and hope. It has an eternal factor when faith and hope do not. When we get to glory, we leave faith and hope behind. But we will always have charity. Charity is a form of love and kindness, which we will always need. God says, let all things be done in charity, 1 Corinthians 16, 14. And every single thing you do, which includes things you say, we do it with love. This is a love that God gives to us that we then give to each other. It is God's love. In John 3:16, we are told about this love. Brother John tells us, hereby we perceive the love of God because he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. So let us put aside our wants and desires for the brethren. 1 Peter 3, 8 through 9. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are thereunto called that ye should inherit a blessing. Thank you, brethren.